around today guys so um, as you guys have seen in, in a later video of yesterday which is today um, so everything is fully buttoned up on the car now um, let's come back over here everything is fully buttoned up on the car now uh, what we're going to be doing today is pretty much get everything completely buttoned up and going to get it started that's the only thing left that we do need um, the only other thing that really was holding us back against this motor was trying to either take it apart or put it in the hole as a, as a complete. I knew it would have been a, a bit of a challenge, but hey, you know, we got it done actually. Uh, it was, to be honest, a lot easier than pulling the gearbox out yesterday. It only took us maybe an hour or so of fighting with it, getting it in and, and playing with it, but it's it's all officially done. As some of you guys know, working on these cars, it doesn't take a lot for these things to be done. It's just a matter of um, pretty much getting, you know, the harness thrown on there. Um, we'll have the aircon guy come and gas this a little bit later on. Organizing the fuel, putting the intercooler back on, and that's about it. And power steering, obviously power steering, you know, we'll throw all that on, but everything is all, you know, pretty much plug and play with bolt on all this sort of stuff. Um, Subarus are by far probably the easiest car that I've, t I've tend to work on with, with taking things apart and harnesses because all the plugs are different, so you can't mix the plugs up. Each plug is a completely different color and different style and different size. So no matter which, which one it is, it's going to work regardless. Um, secondary air pumped, alternator, uh, sorry, alternator, um, alternator ground, and that one is um, AC condenser. And then that's pretty much it. And then obviously you've got your main um, starter ground. got your main harness plug over here and then your other ones here so let's get started on bolting all these up and um, once this thing is pretty much ready to fire uh, actually I've got a downpipe that we're going to be installing today and I think I might install that downpipe before we try to throw the uh, top mount intercooler on it because it'll make it a lot more easier to access and do while we have everything off just makes it a cleaner install so I'll pull that and I'll show you which one we've actually been able to uh, throw on there so what we got, uh, luckily for, we actually scored this for 150 bucks. Uh, if some of you guys don't know what brand that is, NVIDIA cast, cast down pipe, 3 inch stainless, um, polished. So 150 bucks we scored this for. Um, these are actually expensive down pipe and that'll be going in this thing. Once we get that all done, we'll get throwing the motor and everything put together. We'll do, we'll do the down pipe last, that way just pretty much it just diverts a lot of the gases and that from the turbocharger obviously we don't want it spitting up uh spin up at us a little bit so let's get started on it yeah Fuel line's done, got that, I've just done that. So it's just pretty much in, vacuum, return. What I'm gonna do next is start plumbing up the stuff back here. So just got your um, coolant lines, which will run to there. And then got my um, O2 plugs over there. And what I do need to do is I've actually got to take this um, starter motor off again to get the clutch, um, clutch slave or clutch master cylinder. Hook it up to this bad boy. Um, and then we'll get going on the other things. So everything on that side is pretty much bolted on. Starter motor's in, um, all the starter grounds, clutch master slave. Um, I just need to do the pitch stop mounts. This side's pretty much all done as well. I've got the uh, secondary air pump on, so I'm just pretty much running your harness here. Um, not much to do, so that just slips in there. This will go to this one, see if I can do this with one hand. That goes there, that one's there. in that one. Yeah, just need to do this one here. Let's see if I can get this little washer out here. Tricks. 
Boom. Before I forget as well. This clip's there. That did have a little clip there where that would normally sit in there, but that's obviously broken, so I might just put a new zip tie there. But I'm just tighten this one. Poles are off. Uh, such, there's so much more tidy on this one. Like if you guys see, look, look how tidy this is here, right? So it's now you can tell that none of this has been played with. And I'll try to show you. Let's see if I can bring the brightness up here. But everything was just loose. Like he's obviously just none of it was bolted up. Obviously, when he has pulled it apart or played with it all, it just wasn't right going through the process of trying to make sure everything is spot on with this car. Last thing I want to do is have any issues with it because this, as I said before, this car will be my daily. Um, so it's going to be one of the best runarounds. And then um, we're actually going to be working on this thing next, the next couple of days. We're waiting, we were waiting on um, some plugs, but the plugs that we still, we ended up getting were still wrong. Um, I'm a bit sidetracked from the Subaru here, but let's take some time to talk about the Saab. So these plugs here, obviously these are the v, V1 style, or V6 style, V6 style. Um, this is a factory harness, so both plugs that I still got were wrong. I can't use, I can't use the other adapters I got sent, so what I'm going to end up doing is just lopping off these plugs here, and then running them off the factory harness. If all goes well, then great. If all goes shit, then no. I do have a spare harness off the spare, spare motor anyways, so I'm not too fussed, but um, there's not much left to do on this one. We've just got to pretty much, as I said before, we've just got to do the wastegate on the uh, rear housing, which is there, it's, if you guys, that's the 57AR. Um, so, fuel pump, still got a few things to do on this, but I got sort of sidetracked with the Subaru, which is, to me, it's a bit more important. I prefer the Subaru over the Saab any day. All the plugs are plugged in, only thing left to do is um, do the radiator. So just pretty much gotta do that. Plug the fans in, but that's about it. Everything is officially buttoned up. Battery, just have to put a battery in here. Power steering, gotta fill that up before we forget. And uh, now we're going to get into installing the downpipe. So this is the NVIDIA downpipe we're gonna be throwing in. And uh, we're gonna make it work. That fit actually uh, really good. Good old NVIDIA. You guys can see that. Go on video. So, this video actually came off a 2017 WX STI. So, the fact that that's fit, and that I'll show you, it's like perfectly fit. I'm just gonna grab some extra spare bolts because this is a uh, missing. This is why you guys keep spare bolts for this reason here. And that should work. Three, three, oh, actually, two and two. And one of these bad boys should work. So you guys can see here when it focuses. So that's going up to the turbo. That's going down, and it's pretty much spot on. Like that mounted up exactly where the pipe is. That's got play steel. That's not tight. Um, looking up to the turbo, there it is. There, still got like an inch and a half clearance from. Uh, the steering rack there, and um, then we're gonna get buttoning up with uh, the other exhaust that we got. That's just the stock exhaust, we haven't taken it out yet, so I'll get uh, everything buttoned up here. I'm just actually trying to find the second key to this car. We did have two, but um, I can't seem to find it because one key, oh, here we go, I found it. One key starts and one doesn't. Downpipe is on, everything is done, battery in. Um, don't mind my dodgy bottle. I lost my filler that actually has a little plug in it that you can sort of plug out and fill out. So we'll make do with what we got. Um, coolant is in, downpipe is on, O2 sensor is plugged in. So now let's see if we can um, do our first start. This is actually the first start. I haven't tried to start it yet. So I try to do as uh, much true time as I possibly can. So let's, um, let's see how we go. Yeah, map sensors are plugged in. Everything's plugged in, so hopefully uh, nothing's going on. Give it a prime, because it's got a big pump in it, so. Ooh. Go for it. Nothing? Yeah. What are you doing? Just getting here. Oh. Yeah. Ready? Yep.
car started. Everything is fully done. Um, pretty much coolant's just bleeding out now. Uh, it's slowly going. I've got aircon on, not aircon on, but I've got the heater on. Um, so it's blowing a bit of air, obviously hot air. Let the coolant temp up, get on temperature. I did have a normal um, engine light on. Obviously I had a few things unplugged, as you would. You've just taken a motor out. The car started straight up, as you guys see, and that was the first startup cold start. Um, and I'm pretty much just letting it out. Um, I don't have, I pretty much just got the downpipe on, so if you guys can obviously hear that whistle, um, that's what's happening, but everything is fucking spot on. I'm happy with that. As I said, the coolant's pretty much bleeding through. Um, not much I can do left, just wait for that to get up the temperature, let it fully go down. Idles have already dropped. Um, there's no bogging, there's no nothing, no hesitation at all. That's pretty much what I wanted, as luckily, you guys can see it looks like a bit of overcast too so i was really hoping it wouldn't get a rain blue skies a little bit but it's those clouds over there don't look too promising so um i'm really keen to get this thing going it's going already so let's i'm just gonna let this warm up keep going with it i'm gonna drop i'm gonna lift the car up i'm gonna button everything else in the interior because there's still a fair bit of things to do we didn't fully do the interior everything is still um loose and just only just only hanging there, so I've still got to un clean underneath it, finish the rest of the dash, or all the seats in because all the seats are just placed in because we got had a bit of rain the other day, and I just wanted to throw it and get it out of the garage because my cats were actually trying to um, get into the interior. I still need to change the steering wheel. Right, so everything's everything is perfectly settled. Uh, Coolant is exactly the same. It's been like that for the last probably 10 minutes now. It's, pretty, it's like a little bit under the middle. So what I'm gonna end up doing is just turning this, turning this off now. So as you guys can see there, 345,000 Ks. So that's what was on the um, original motor before. So it was a fair bit. We're gonna end up pretty much bolting everything in here. Um, I'm gonna put the struts back in here. I wanna give this car a drive. This car is actually now registered. I have plates to put on it. What I wanna do is I'm actually gonna switch this dash over. I do have, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys now what I have. And that way we can do it all at the same time. So luckily, I have in this bucket here, thanks to um, a good friend of mine, Nathan Cedo at 3P. So this is actually a 2008, I think it is, um, tuned by STI dash. So I've got that. And then I have ECU, or sorry, manual transmission ECU. And obviously if you guys can see that, tuned by STI. So that'll go, this is with the key. This is what's gonna go into this. So this whole system here has already been dyno tuned uh, for 187 kilowatts or 197 kilowatts. I can't remember exactly, I'll have to get the dyno sheet, but I've seen the dyno sheet, it is full. I've seen the car that all that come out with before 3P actually shut. So that'll actually go all into my car. That way, technically the car's already tuned. Um, hopefully everything is all sweet. All I have to do is change the, um, the chip out of the key into my key, that way I don't have to play with any of the barrels. So once that's all done, we can hopefully start it up and have a tunes car. I don't have a cold air intake for this car. Um, and I'm not about to spend $300 on a brand new one because I just that's, I just can't comprehend spending 300 bucks on a piece of pipe or a piece of plastic piping regardless with a, uh, a welded on bung of, of, you know, for the map sensor. So if anyone has a cold air intake for this car by any chance, feel free to um, hit me up because I'm, I'm definitely interested in it. So after quite a bit of a long day, we had a bit of a, a breakdown with some little bit of rain, but luckily it didn't involve with um, any hard work, I should say. The car's done, the car's put together. Drive shafts in, all the um, ball joints are done. Everything is buttoned up, completely done. I just don't have front wheels on it because I just can't be bothered putting wheels on it at the moment. We ended up taking apart the drive shafts and rebuilding them because we, we had them together anyway, so we might as well try to uh, fix them. So that's what we that's what we did. Uh, thanks for watching on that one, guys. So stay tuned for the last video. This will be going at the same day. Um, and then tomorrow's video will probably actually be going out the following day because I'm technically a day behind late because of yesterday. So um, thanks, guys.